let's solve an integration problem where we need to use some integration formulas. So the purpose of this section is just to practice all these integration formulas. There's usually a big list of these that we need to memorize for Calc 2. Most teachers don't let you put them on a formula sheet for your tests. So the point of this is just to practice these so we can get used to them. The first thing that I'm doing here is taking that negative 3 and multiplying it into the sine and cos terms. Then the integral of sine is going to be negative cos, and the integral of cos is going to be positive sine. We've got an indefinite integral, so we need to add a constant to our solution, which is our plus c. Then we can clean this up a bit to get our final answer. Now if we want to check this and make sure that we got it right, we just need to take the derivative of our answer with respect to x. So if we take the derivative of cos, that's going to give us negative sine, and the derivative of sine is going to give us positive cos. Then if we simplify this a bit, we should end up with exactly what we started with. And that's how we know that we did this right. Once we take the derivative, we should end up with the function inside the integral in the problem statement.